Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing out some Focalore Beauty makeup. Now, Focalore is a cruelty-free brand and they have a huge range of makeup, most of it being $25 and under. When I browse the website, it reminds me a bit of Makeup Revolution. Some of their products do look like dupes for more well-known products, but you're getting it for that more affordable price. So I'm interested to see if the quality is actually any good. Now, Folklore did send me these products to play with today and they have also given me a discount code, so I will have that in the description box down below. If you enjoy this video while you're watching, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, so I know I am looking pretty scary right now. I have already done my base because I didn't pick up a foundation, concealer, or face powder. So if you want to know what I've used, I will list it down below. Let's add some color to my face. The first product I'm going to try is the Sculpt and & Glow, and this is a bronzing and highlighting duo. So I picked this one up in the shade 02 Capri Coast and Jasmine. Now the bronzing color looks really good for my skin tone. As you can see, it is quite cool. The highlighter does just look like a matte white. Let me swatch that. Oh no, it does have a bit of a sheen to it. You can see that there. Oh, that actually looks quite nice. Okay. Now I did pick up a brush set as well. This is a 10 piece brush set and it comes with some face brushes and a few eyeshadow brushes. So I'm going to go in with this powder brush here for my bronzer. It's picking up on the brush quite well there. I'm just going to go in with a light hand. Okay, that shade is really nice. The product is quite powdery. I'm getting a lot of kickback. Just going in with a second layer now to see how it builds up. This brush is quite big and fluffy, so you are going to get a more diffused look when it comes to bronzer, but that built up really, really well. The brushes feel quite nice too. They've got a nice matte black pointed handle good length and a good weight. Next, I have the Silky Powder Ombre Blush, and this is in the shade 03 Tequila Rose. And as you can see, it's got that ombre, kind of like a light peach down to like a coral shade, and it does have a shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see there, the little shimmers sparkling. I'm going to go in with this brush here. It's more of a pointed powder brush. And I'm just going to tap kind of all over. I can see it's adding a bit of color to the apples of my cheeks here. And it doesn't look too glittery, which is nice. All right, well, that is the blush applied. I feel like that's left a really nice color. And it's also giving a nice glowy sheen which I love in a blush because I think it just makes your skin look really healthy and it's not too glittery, which I do get worried when I see a blush with shimmers in it. But as I said, that just leaves a really nice sheen. Next, I'm going to go back into the Sculpt and Glow palette and take this highlighting shade. And this brush here looks absolutely perfect. It's kind of like a small pointed fluffy brush. This would also be really good for setting powder under the eyes. I don't want to go too heavy because it is white and sometimes that can look really stark on the skin, but can you see that sheen? I don't know, I just didn't have high hopes for some reason, maybe because it is more of an affordable brand, but that's working out pretty well. On to brows, I picked up the Sketch Artist Pencil and this is in the shade 02, which I thought would be a bit lighter, but it's actually quite a dark shade. Let me just swatch it for you. What I do like about this pencil though is that it comes with a refill. How good is that? So this is the color 02. I'm going to have to go in with a really light hand to make this work. Okay, so one end has a spoolie, so let's brush those brows up. And then the end with a pencil, it is more in that triangle shape. It's not a circle. So let's wind that up and very, very lightly 
go in. Okay, so besides the fact that the color's a little bit dark, it glides on really well, it's blending easily, and it's easy to use, so winner. I'll do the other brow and I'll be right back. All right, for eyeshadows, I have two palettes here. The first one is called Paris, and this one has 15 shades. And then the second one is called Endless Possibilities, and to me, this looks like a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So I'm going to go in with the bigger palette. This one has 30 shades, and it says here that they were created to deliver not only the best color payoff, but also amazing application, mattes, shimmers, satins, foils, and glitter formulas, all pressed to perfection. So the eyeshadow brushes that come in the little brush set, there's only two. <laughs> I've kind of got a fluffy blending one and more of a flat shader, but still fluffy. So. I'll use those and also use my own brushes. Let's swatch some of them and see how they go. Not bad. So the shimmers aren't as vibrant. I'm going to prep my eyelids using my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and then I'm going to set it with the pressed powder and we'll dip into the shadows. Okay, so I'm going to start out by going in with this orangey shade called Rust. Now dipping in, there is a bit of kickback in this shade here, so I'm just going to tap off my brush. I'm going to do a halo eye, so I'm going to put this in the inner corner now. I feel like the pigment is definitely there and the colour is building up well too. I feel like the colour isn't the same on my lid as it is in the pan though. In the pan it's like a really burnt orange. On my lid it looks a little bit more reddish and where I'm blending out it kind of has a bit of a pink tone to it as well. So now I'm going to go in with the brush that comes in the set with more of a lighter orange and I'm going to blend out this shade. Okay, so the colors are blending out really nicely, but I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing the difference in the shades. I feel like they're kind of blending into one. So I'm just going to continue to take that lighter orange shade a little bit higher. That's a bit better. And then I'm going to take a mix of those two shades and run them under my lower lash line. Okay, I forgot to tap that off and so I am getting a bit of fallout on my nose here. But that was my fault, I should have tapped. Now I'm going to take the other brush from the set and dip into this deep brown. Okay, that is looking good so far. I am quite impressed with how these shadows are building up and blending out. If you watch my channel regularly, then you would know I'm not a fan of like cheaper eyeshadows. I just think they never perform as well, they're patchy. I'm just not a fan. But these, this palette I think is around $25. Pretty good. Now I'm going to take this shade here called Treasure and put that in the center. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this shade over the top as well, just to brighten it up. I'm going to use my finger for this. <gasps> this shade looks so beautiful. I hope it translates. Let's see. Uh, there's still a lot on my finger. It's not really coming off. Let me go in with a brush.
Okay, so it definitely doesn't apply to the lid as well as it swatches. Even applying it with my finger, I still don't get that same kind of foiled effect. I'm just going to blend out the edges. It still looks really pretty though. I do love a good warm, smoky eye. Okay, I'm going to put on some eyeliner, some mascara, and then finish the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the eyes done. I'm really impressed with the matte shades. The shimmers did take a little bit more work and I found they actually blended better using a brush where usually shimmer shadows, you get more like that shimmery payoff using your finger. But hey, it looks good. Let me give you a little close up. I did also grab one of their Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows and this is in the shade 12 Peacock. So I might just put a little bit of this in the center of my lid. Now, I'm not sure if these are meant to be a dupe of the Steeler ones. This formula is quite sheer. Ooh, it actually has a bit of a green shift to it. Not bad. And then lastly for lips, I have the Ultra Chic Lips Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade 09 Tumbleweed. Okay, it's a nice opaque formula, not streaky at all. It smells really nice too, kind of like cookies. Okay, that actually feels quite comfortable. It's not super drying. I'll leave updates in the description box below on how all the makeup wore as well. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. I'll just quickly run through all the products. So the contour and highlighting palette I really loved. I think that shade works really well for my skin tone, the contour shade that is. The highlighting shade is beautiful. I feel like it's kind of starting to fade away already. So I don't know, I'll try it out again and as I said, I'll leave some updates down below. The blush I think is really beautiful. I love how it gives that nice sheen. The eyebrow products, besides from it being a bit too dark, it worked really well and I love that it comes with a little refill. I'm excited to give the eyeshadow palette another go. As I said, the mattes worked really well. The shimmers did need a little bit more attention, but overall I think the eye look looks good and the colors have blended out nicely. The lipstick has dried down now. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or sticky at all and because it was really pigmented, I didn't have to apply a lot on and I think that's where you go wrong with matte lipsticks is when you have to apply like three layers, it just gets too thick and cakey. And then as for the brush set, they were nice brushes. I'm not sure if I would spend the money on those. I'd rather save up and invest in some better brushes, but they did the job. All right, well, that is all from me today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know if you are going to try any Focalore makeup or if you've tried some already, leave me your recommendations down below. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.